back to another Play On Me video this week. In this video, we will be setting up for the month of September. This is a monthly setup which includes the month calendar, the month tracker, and the monthly cover. But first, we're starting with the monthly calendar. This month's theme is geometric birds or like birds with geometric shapes attached to them. It kind of gets blurry throughout the month, but you know, we'll work on it. I was definitely inspired by the artwork of this person. I will write down his username here. I originally found him on Pinterest while searching geometric animals. Um, I'm sure you've seen his work if you've ever searched on Pinterest. It's really popular. And I ended up finding him on Instagram, so I'll be linking his Instagram page in the description box, or you could just follow him by typing in his username. Anyway, going in with the monthly setup, I did boxes floating, and I completely messed up on the first top row, but that's nothing Photoshop can't fix, as we all know. And previously, I wasn't going to color in any of these, as the theme colors for this month was going to be black and white but after looking at it for a while it just looked so plain so i went in with my crayola color pencils and colored in the swallow this is a swallow right that's the bird with like the long tail right i don't know so i colored in that and i also colored in the letters of the month and the days of the month and I definitely think I should have filled in the top section with some sort of art but the lines that I tried to cover with my white gel pen really threw me off so I decided not to touch it at all. Anyway, this month I decided to try something new which was to draw on a regular piece of paper anything I wanted because one, these birds were really hard to draw and two, it gave me a chance to put in a lot more details in such a bigger piece. So what I ended up doing was drawing whatever the bird that I wanted on a regular eight and a half by 11 paper, scanning it onto my computer, maybe adding a little details here and there or fixing some dimensions as such, and then printing it out in the right size for my bullet journal so I could just cut it and paste it in and it really helped me add a lot of the wing details, etc., to the page, especially since I don't really have very thin pens to work with. Although for this one, when I scanned it, it flipped and I didn't notice. So here we go, it, that's why it's flipped on this side. After printing it, I noticed that there were a couple mistakes that I didn't notice on the computer and I thought it needed more details and some color, so I went in with my pen, added more details, and then I went in with my color pencils. Uh, first, I colored the top bird teal, so that if the black wasn't completely solid, it would show a little teal in the background, which I thought would give it a cool touch. And then for the bottom bird, I just completely used a black color pencil. And you could see the teal pop out of the top bird and the white from the paper pop out of the bottom bird. My favorite bird by far is the bottom bird, especially that wing. That wing to me is like the prettiest thing I've ever drawn and colored in my entire life and I'm so proud of it. So I decided to keep this cover page. I've actually made three cover pages uh, for this month and this is the final one I came with, which is just another reason why I decided to draw it on a separate piece of paper and then glue it inside does make your pages quite thick to add two or three layers of paper on it but totally worth it because then you could stare at something really pretty anyway last but not least i'm moving on to my tracker for the month i decided to go for something very simple as something really difficult looked really ugly in my bullet journal so i'm just drawing birds sitting on telephone wire i thought it was really cute there's 30 birds for each day of the week, and I will be filling them in every time I go to the gym, or drink enough water, or whatever the heck I want to track this month. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is how the final 
uh, art pieces turned out. I hope you look forward to the weekly spreads as much as I do. Trust me, they are gorgeous. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tell your friends that I post a new Kami video every single Sunday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!